In this video, we're going to show how to preview a Compose application by using the split or design view. Now, we can use the emulator, and the emulator's handy, but it does take up a lot of memory. So to preview something, what we need is this at preview annotation. You see, we can actually preview both light and dark mode, which is a really good reason to use preview. So first of all, uh, if we take a look at preview, that's just a bootstrap that says, okay, I want to take a look at a preview of this screen that I'm putting together. Typically, we'll also have the composable annotation on top of it. Then within that, we kick off a very similar sequence that we have in our set content block up here. So we have a theme, and then here we have a surface, which we don't have in our preview. So I'm going to go ahead and move that down to our preview. So we'll go ahead and add the surface and close it with a close curly. Now you notice that I have this preview annotation. So on one of them, I'm going to say UI mode equals configuration dot UI mode night yes. Then show background equals true. And the name, we'll give it a name, equals that'll be our dark mode preview. On another one, let me let's see, we'll take care of this import here. Let's make another preview annotation. And on this one, we are simply going to say name equals light mode. I'll add the show background equals true as well. Let's look at split view, and it typically is going to need to build, but it would need to build if we put it on the emulator as well. So if it needs to build, it'll give us a little indication up here and we can refresh it. Now take a look, you see light mode here and light mode there. So it's showing us our light mode preview first. And there's our green save button. And then dark mode, there's dark mode. And if we take a look over here, dark mode again, and here's our dark mode look and feel with the save button and kind of that lavender color. So notice that by having two previews, we can literally have two previews, one after another, and it's a lot quicker, consumes a lot less memory than having to load it on the emulator. Of course, it's always a good idea to load it on the emulator to get the final look and feel, but the preview pane is a good way to see our work before doing the full commitment of putting it on the emulator. So I hope this video has been helpful. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.